Well, I woke up at like 6.25 this morning. And I think sunset is around, or sunrise is around 6.35 because I watched it on Mackinac Island. So I came right outside of my hotel room. Here's my, I'm staying right on the end, that end unit there, um, that building. Just came right outside and hopefully we'll get to see the sunrise from here. I don't think it's made it quite up yet. Here comes the sunrise. Right there. Wow. Can't beat this place to watch it. There's a few black flies here. I had to cover every bit of me up uh, so they wouldn't get me. But it's nice out. Temperature is nice. Today I'm planning to hike up to Susie's Cave and Greenstone Ridge. It's about 10 miles round trip. And then I am taking a cruise out to that island right there where we get out, walk a couple miles and see pitcher plants and sundew plants. Uh, they're carnivorous plants. And it's called Raspberry Island, so I imagine there's raspberries. Yesterday here I found raspberries, blueberries, Currants, strawberries, and thimbleberries. It was a very slow hike. And now it's up quite far. The thing about the sunrise is you can't really watch it directly. <laughs> so taking a video is a good way. You can watch it through the phone screen without burning your retinas. Well, the color, color of the sky completely changed now that the sun's up. The pink went away. Well, I'm starting out my hike this morning at about 9, and I'm doing the Rock Harbor Trail towards 3 Mile, and then I'm going to head um, up from there to Franklin Mountain, and then come back on the Tobin Harbor Trail. And I hear the thimbleberries are ripe up on the top of the mountain, so I hope I get there. It's 10 miles round trip. Um, so hoping I make it to the top. I'm doing a boat cruise tonight on the Sandy going up to Raspberry Island and hiking around a couple miles there. So I have to be back by about six. So it is looking like an amazing day. And for lunch, I packed 
some coconut wraps with peanut butter, banana, and honey drizzle. So I'm looking forward to lunch. Part of the Rock Harbor Trail here goes right along the, the beachfront. It's all small stones. It's a beautiful morning. August is definitely the time to come visit. I just had a, some butterflies land around me and um, a snowshoe hare ran out in front of me. So that was kind of cool. the loom. A lot of places along this trail there's uh, loons in the water. There's a little island right offshore. Uh, this is Susie's Cave, and it was formed when Lake Superior was way up here from this level. It's probably a hundred yards up from the current shoreline, so the water carved this out. Here's inside the cave. There's a little passage over there. It's all the salt. And there's I don't know if you can see the water. Uh, yeah, way off in the distance. There's the water. Well, now I'm on the 1.2 mile section of the Tobin Trail uh, that leads to where I'm going to branch off to go up to Mount Franklin. So it seems like I'm moving about a half an hour a mile with all my berry picking and picture taking. Um, all these trails are beautiful. Well, I think I encountered a moose vertebrae here on the side of the trail. It's huge. This is how thick the thimble berries are along this trail. I wish they were right down here. So many of them. Well, I made it to the trail division. So Mount Franklin's 1.8 miles that way. It looks like a lot of this trail to Mount Franklin is on these elevated boardwalks at least through this marshy area so the lake is over there so you had to walk all along the lake and then this is where the lake just ends up in this little stream and so you walk through this marshy area first uh, to get to that forest and then start going up there's a snowshoe hair over here, right there. Looks neat. It's brown now because it's summer. In the winter they turn pure white. And it hasn't moved. I think it's not moving because it, well, because of me. It's very cute. There's a lot of them here. I already saw one that ran out in front of me in a trail. All right, I'll leave this guy alone. As you get on the um, elevation here of the side of the mountain, the trails are then marked with these cairns. Uh, gosh, it's a nice day. It's not hot at all. 
starting to make my way out. Uh, just in the same spot where I just took this last video, there's service berries, my favorite. Really, the only place I've found these before is on the coast of Maine. They like to grow right along the water's edge. Um, and they're on taller trees. Well, they sort of look like a, like a crab apple leaf and berry, but their, their flavor is so unique and delicious. Oh my gosh, also on the top of this mountain, there are so many blueberries, wild blueberries everywhere. I'm not going to be able to leave this spot. Look at them all. These are all wild blueberry bushes loaded with berries. Oh man. I'm getting to the sections here on the top of the mountain of the ripe thimbleberries. Here. And you can see one, two, and I already ate a few. They're delicious. So, I've also been finding currants here, too. I found some yesterday and today. It's sort of a maple leaf um, appearance to the leaves. There's some more. They grow in those kind of drooping clusters. They're a little tart. In Alaska, we had them on pancakes. I'm learning this island is a berry paradise. I'm just a minute up from the trail from those currants. Now there's these chanterelle mushrooms. Little beauties. They're getting dried up because they probably haven't had rain here. Um, but you can see the chanterelles have these decurrent ridges. So these ridges go down the stem. The margin of this one is enrolling because it's dried out. But it has this nice orangey color. Um, they're very characteristic. But there's a few here. And sometimes they have an apricot smell. I, I don't ever smell that really. But some people say that. So there's. This is just turning out to be an awesome hike. Full of delicious things. There's a lake uh, coming up this mountain. Um, looks like there's a game cam right there. And there's a beaver here because there's a tree right over here that the beavers are gnawing on, bringing down that birch tree. There are quite a few birch trees in this area. I mean, it looks like all conifers, um, but I've passed quite a bit on the trail. And I have been picking thimbleberries for a long time. I don't know if you can see, my fingers are all red. <laughs> all the thimbleberries. So, I better get back to hiking. Here I was walking up this uh, bedrock and you can see some glacial striations in it. You can see those lines kind of going back and forth. Up, I mean up and down where the glacier scraped down headed that way. That's kind of cool. They're the first striations that I've seen so far on the trail. As I'm nearing the top here, starting to go up, starting to see some aspen trees, a lot of little baby birch trees. Here's some more aspens. Um, and it's starting to clear. It's not a dense forest anymore. A lot of bracken, a lot of bracken ferns. Saw some hawthorn trees and a lot of these flowers here. I don't know their formal name, but I, I always call them pussy toes. <laughs> um, so I think I'm getting close. Near the top, there's all these. Uh, what I assume are goldenrod. A lot of bees on them. I think those are bees. Could be some type of wasp. 
doing their job. I'm 0.3 miles from the summit. It's been neat to see how the vegetation changes. Well, I made it to the top of Mount Franklin. Pretty nice up here. Oh, wow. There's an island over there with a big elevation change. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Lots of parallel islands. That's because of um, the way the bedding is and the down dip. That's really beautiful. Getting ready to have lunch. My banana honey in a bit wrap. And I got up here at 12.15, so it took 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12, it took 3 hours and 15 minutes. Not bad. Well, I'm just sitting up here at the top and I made my trail lunch that I've been looking forward to the whole time. Banana, peanut butter, and honey drizzled on a coconut wrap. These are the wraps that I use. They're yummy. And then I just bring these little packets of peanut butter and honey. I have enough to make another one. Uh, and a banana in a bag for trash. And it's an awesome trail launch. Something to look forward to the whole time you're walking. Bon appetit. My lunch was amazing, and as I sit here longer, I'm noticing the lineations in the trees. So there'll be a row of aspen over there, and then a row of conifer, and then a row of aspen, and then a row of conifer. And that keeps repeating. I wonder if it's due to the different rock units here. If anyone knows, Leave a message in the comments and I'll send you a gift. Very interesting. <laughs>